Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. And lately the weather has been horrible. It's been freezing below zero, snowy, icy, windy. So what better than a yummy comfort food recipe? And this recipe is super easy and it will please everyone in your family. I love it because yes, it's with my favorite appliance, the crock pot. So in the winter, that is my go-to appliance for sure. So for this crock pot chicken and dumplings recipe, what you will need is one large onion, um, one can of cream of chicken soup, as well as one can of cream of celery soup. I have some fresh parsley here. Um, oh, as you can see, I literally am out of black pepper, so this will just be enough. A little bit of black pepper just to, to taste for your, for your liking. Chicken broth, you need two cups. Now I normally go with the low sodium, but this is what we had, so this is what we're going to go ahead and use. Now I do use two cups of frozen vegetables. Here I have a vegetable, mixed vegetable mix that I am going to go ahead and use. And then um, also a can of the um, biscuits. I'm using the Grand's Flaky Biscuits here, so just one of those. And normally the recipe calls for four chicken breasts, but these are like really big chicken breasts. So what I like to do is have less meat, more veggies. So since it's like two cups of vegetables, I will kind of add a little bit more vegetables and a little bit less chicken. So that is totally up to you what you'd like to do, but these are really big chicken breasts. I had like almost a six pound package and it had um, five of them. So I'm figuring these are each over one pound. So around two pounds of chicken will be perfect. All right, guys, step one is just, just to take your large onion and go ahead and dice it up. All right, so what you want to do on the bottom of your crock pot, add your diced onion, just a little thin layer at the bottom. And then what you're going to do is take your chicken breast and place that on top. Okay, so next you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and mix your cream of chicken and your cream of celery along with some fresh parsley, about, about a tablespoon or so of fresh parsley into a small bowl. You're gonna to top this um, on top of the chicken. in just a little bit of pepper to taste and mix that in okay guys then just take that mixture and pour it right on top of the chicken and pour the two cups of the chicken broth and just place that on top. Okay, and then what, what you'll wanna do is set your crock pot on high for four hours. We're gonna let this cook for four hours. Once that is done, we are gonna come back and add in the vegetables and the biscuits and cook it for another hour. So we will check back and see how this okay, baby guys, is cooking. Four hours is up. You can see how it is looking. It's looking good. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add in my vegetables. Now, if you're using more chicken, then just put in two cups of vegetables. The vegetables have to be defrosted, guys, so keep that in mind. Um, I will inclu um, include a Google document of the recipe, so you can go ahead and check back after the video. So I'm going to go ahead and see how much is actually in this bag. This bag has exactly two, so I'm going to go ahead and get my other bag and add in three cups of veggies. And I didn't mention that the vegetables that we have, normally peas and carrots will just go into the crock pot dumplings, but I had a bag, there's some green beans, there's corn, 
it's not a big issue. We've made it before like this, so we are not particular. But if you are particular, then don't, you know, just use the um, peas and carrots. But this is two cups, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I'm just going to add a little bit more since I put a little less meat because I'd rather have more vegetables than meat personally. So it's almost like three cups of vegetables. Okay, and then finally on top of the vegetables, I am going to chop up my biscuits here. I wanted to open them before they did that big pop to open. So I'm going to cut these in cubes and then these will be right on top of the crock pot. And what we're going to do is cook this for another hour on high. add in the vegetables that you just give it I already stirred it but just give it a nice little stir move everything around in here and then what you're going to want to do is put your biscuit bits right on the top of the of everything and just layer those in here try and break them up if you can it's very doughy And once these are all in, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cook this on high for an hour. And then we'll be able to go ahead and take our chicken out and shred that up and then mix everything up and it will be yum, yum, yum. Okay guys, it's been an hour. So what I'm gonna do is dive in here and take out my chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and shred that up and then put it back in the crock pot for just a little bit longer for like 10 to 30 minutes depending on how the um the biscuits are smells so so yummy so I'm gonna go ahead and put my slightly shredded chicken back in there and I'm gonna cook it like I said from anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes now the biscuits are almost done so probably another good 15 minutes let the shredded chicken settle in and absorb some of the juice it smells so good and this is why I use less chicken because look at how much chicken is in there already plenty 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 it smells so so good so I'm gonna go ahead seal this up again for another 15 minutes okay guys and yum yum it is all done and it looks awesome um, the most important thing is just make sure that your biscuits are cooked and they're not doughy anymore um, that is always what I do and then at this point what I do is just put a very little bit more um, pepper, you can tell pepper oop, is on my list of things to get. And then I just go ahead and spoon it around. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this settle for a few minutes. And it is good to go, guys. Okay, guys, here it is. It is so warm and yummy. And what I usually do is just top it with a little bit of that fresh parsley that I have as well because I love fresh parsley so it is just awesome but thanks so much for watching if you're enjoying these cooking videos definitely give this video a big old thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you've tried this or if you're going to try this recipe but I guarantee it's another one that you're going to love and be sure to check out some of these other cooking videos as well my method to cooking is easy and simple that's the way to go Till the next video, guys. Bye-bye.